Hello everybody! Okay, this is Dom of the 8-Bit Project, and look! A mod review! Okay, so this mod's called Better Than Wolves, um, for reasons I'll show you in a minute. And obviously the first noticeable thing it adds is these windmills. So, essentially what this mod adds is a lot of mechanical power. So this is sort of, like, it's not the basic, but it's sort of what you think of when you think of basic mechanical power. And up there you've got your windmill obviously driving everything. So if I turn this on, there we go. What those are is uh, if I dig into this wooden bit. La, 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 la. Okay, so those are axles and gearboxes. I'm not going to go into any of the crafting for this mod, by the way, because it, we will be here all day. The craft it just adds everything new, it just has a new crafting recipe. So yeah, you see all those bangs? They're coming from the axles and the gearboxes, and those are leading two what do we have down here we have a millstone let's excuse everything there we have a millstone right there so if I drop uh, let's just find something what can I grind something it will go wheat it's just if I drop wheat in there see the little gear going up okay so and then if I go stand right here Let's give it a minute. Yeah, there we go. See that? Th turned the ground the uh, wheat into flour. So that's sort of the first thing you got there. You got your axles and your, and your gearboxes. One annoying thing about the um, axles and gearboxes is that if I just make like something, uh, I don't know if I can, but I'll just try and show you here, down here. What you have to do with them is you have to sort of put the gearbox on the in the way that the power is traveling. So say that so because the axle is shaped like that and the power is traveling in that direction over there. So I have to face that wall and place the axle. Otherwise it won't work. And because now this is going down, the power is going down. Ooh, the power is going down. So I have to put that gearbox no no there in order to get power. Because if I put it on there, see the the holes facing me, and it wouldn't get any power there. That's my one sort of annoyance with this mechanical power. And I actually just speaking about that and did it wrong. There we go. So yeah, that's uh, that's the windmill. Second thing, which is a a sort of new use of mechanical power, is this. It's water wheels. So this is classic Victorian style power. I've sort of not put them in water because what they require is, uh, if I take down that, they sort of they require a flowing water source. So you can sort of put it's two deep and then five along, and you pour water in, and then just plonk your uh, your water wheel down, which you can make by adding glue and sticks and stuff to make the blades. I'll put a link in the description to the crafting websites because they actually need an entire website to tell you how to craft the new things on here. And that basically just works in exactly the same way. Uh, except you don't need this sort of elevation which can really get in your way so that's sort of good for towns that's why I've put it in there but as well as that it's also sort of more reliable because sorry if I go up here and I leave that power on and I make it rain see the windmill goes really really quickly and what that does is put pressure on the gearbox so eventually please work for me Usually it does this. It's really annoying because every time I try and set something up with windmills, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, but yeah, and you're making me look stupid in front of the viewers. Come on, man, do it. There we go. Yeah, see, it sort of explodes because of the stress it's been put under into its component parts, which is gears and wood and redstone, I think. Yeah. Um. And that is one really annoying thing because then you have to sort of, you know, take the windmill off and there you go. you've got to take the windmill off to get the charge right and open that up and put that back in. So that's why there's a lever on top. So when it starts raining, and I'm not long, I don't have to, too many items on, which is what I'm using. I can you can turn it off so it doesn't just explode every time a piece of a bit of rain falls on it, which is a bit rubbish to be honest.
Okay, just uh, just while we're at it, here's another use for um, for water wheels and windmills that I promised I'd show you. So this is obviously a water wheel, uh, mill technology, and that's just really simple axle connected to a pulley. So what the pulley is basically just a small thing, and obviously that shows it's got power. That little uh, gear there, and those four uh, ropes. Uh, cause of rope, you make rope which I think is six hemp fiber in earlier in the video I think I said it was nine but it's six hemp fiber in a crafting table I believe and that's an anchor and that's basically just like six like seven blocks of iron not like I said I'm not going to show you and that's a platform made of reeds so if that's obviously got power now if I connect the power it will descend me into my mine shaft you can obviously make this as big as you want but that has to be sort of in the center and balance it out. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to fall down here. Just a little minor farm, that's why I thought it would be a nice place to put her. I think it actually leads to the surface, wonderful. I thought it would be a nice place, but you see, yeah, I didn't have much time to set this up. I'm also not creative. Didn't have enough time to set this up, so I didn't want to bother doing the circuitry, but basically if you had two people and the other person did that, then you would ascend as well. Back up to the top and it sort of just, as you can see, it just sucks the rope in. So that's another really useful uh, way if you don't want to have to walk down a load of ladders or whatever. Um, and I think this pretty much concludes uh, windmills. So yeah, the next thing they've added is a new crop, and they're in this sort of dark, scary-looking stone brick um, boxes. And what they are is really useful. It's hemp, which you may think, oh my god, you stoner, but no, it's like a uh, useful material. It takes an age to grow, and you have to grow it under these things here, which are basically redstone lamps, but better than wolves invented them first before. Jeb ever had the idea to add them, uh, and you have to grow them under there, and they can't, they don't grow natural light, and also bone meal is not effective on them, so they take ages to grow. But what you do get when you, uh, sorry, you got to cut out natural light from the room or right, spoil it or something. Uh, come on, you know what? I'm just gonna break through the doors, right? Uh, what, yeah, what they do add, let's just get rid of a load of this guff from my inventory. is hemp. Look, there's your old weed leaf there, and in there I've got a, a nice collecting system along with, I did, I didn't show you in the last one, which I should have, because it's a really cool system I invented. There we go. Yeah, just flowing water just flows down from the millstone, which sort of spits it out, puts it down into there. So if I fill this millstone with hemp, and I can get out of the collection point, there we go. We, let's patch that over. Well, I really shouldn't be like taking apart this. It took me like three days to make all this stuff. Whee, here we go. Oh, sorry, I got a bit of a cold. Uh, yeah, and I go down here. Look, hemp fibers, and they'll just keep coming down and flying down. If you can just sort of AFK there and grab all the stuff. So, what hemp fibers will allow you to do is if you put, I think it's nine of them in a crafting table, um, in just literally just a block, you get rope, and what you can do with rope, I can't believe I didn't show you that, it's just a really lazy thing. What you can do with rope, I think, is if you click it onto something, um, click, that's where you can do it, that's where you can do this. Eh. Yeah, usually it acts as a deployable ladder, so just imagine that's happening. <laughs> yeah, it usually acts as a deployable ladder, plus it has another use, which I will show you earlier, which is really kind of cool. One other thing. Uh, that you might be asking is, Hey Don, why is it called Better Than Wolves? Well, if you go into this very dark box here, I have three wolves. Uh, and they're just living there for me. Uh, they're my pets, so I'm just gonna... brutally murder them. Okay, come on, Jimmy and Timmy and Zimmy, or whatever the last one is, and I kill you. Uh, they all attack me, which is kind of annoying. Um, stop it. There we go. You see that? He drops a wolf chop. That is one raw wolf shop. It turns basically makes wolves more useful than just sort of things that attack you in the forest and eat sheep and stuff. So with your wolf wolf chop, obviously that's just cookable food. But also a really rare drop from them is if you sort of scatter food around like pork and beef or whatever. Um and you sort of scatter it around inside, they sort of digest it and they give you dung. Uh, but that's quite rare, so it hasn't actually happened to me. So dung is useful for reasons I shall show you right now. So right here we have 
cooking pots. Okay, now it's basically just a cauldron, but if you put it's like a cauldron recipe, but you put a bone in it. Um, and if I were to smack, oh god, yeah, look, cook wolf job. If I were to smack a raw food in there, like raw pork and raw wolf, it basically just cooks everything in there at once. So spam chicken, it all just like turns to be cooked, and yeah. Slowly, over time, it'll be cooked. Uh, it's basically mass. It's really good. Oh, the rain. It's a good thing I've done that windmill off. Uh, I'm stuck in a wall. I should really stop. I should stop flying around everywhere. I should really stop saying I should stop doing stuff. Yeah, so it's sort of just mass. It does stuff like that. But if I add dung to there and wait for ages and ages, because when you're filming, things take twice as long. It's a classic fact of life. Come on, work, hurry up. I've got like three more things to get through in this episode. Yay, look. It turns all of the food in there, which is a massive waste of wolf meat. Oh, it's going to be night time. That's not very good. Time to make it day. Yay. Into foul food, because you've just basically cooked it with poo. Okay, so, uh, turns out it has no use. Because they changed the mod in the time it took me to read all the notes. Wonderful. Okay, so foul food has no use. Um, it just ruins all of the food in your cauldron. Wonderful. Uh, so the next thing on our list are these things called hoppers. It's a really simple piece of technology. I don't know how you... Like I say, I'm not going to go through the crafting because I'll be here forever. But basically, if you... I'll just get some like stairs or whatever. Spam stairs. Yeah, you see, you, you throw it on the floor and the hopper will pick it up. So you just spam, throw them roughly above it. Yeah, that's it. And they pick up all the stairs. They have another use as well, which is if I grab like a grate, I think it is. Yeah, and I put a grate there, it acts as a filter. And if I throw stairs at it this time, it won't pick them up. But if I throw something small at it, like a ghast here, I don't know if that'll work. Yeah, see? Ghast is a liquid and small, so it'll pick it up. Basically, it acts as like a nice filter. Wonderful! So there's a hoppers. So with hoppers, ooh, a bit of lag just made me fall off there, I'm just going to get rid of all this. With hoppers, the use is sort of, uh, you can use them as filters, but there is also, wow, it is raining outside. My god, no, I mean, IRL, it's just like lashing with rain. Like if I think if I went out there, I'd actually come out with rain burns, and I didn't think that was a thing. Uh, so, where is it, where is it, where is it, just something I can grind up, I think I can grind up, yeah, I can grind up coal, another red, I might as well go through that while I'm at it, nice addition, uh, I think it's used in something I'll show you later, in the explosive process, uh, uh yes, there's explosives, oh, there's also wheat in there, if I throw some coal in there, could just use the wheat, but I'll show you the coal, and I turn it on, work, hope the rain outside, in my real world, doesn't make you explode, there we go. I have a hopper down here, and anything that falls onto that hopper, so when the carbon powder finally decides to come down, should be collected into the hopper. Yes, there we go, see? So that carbon powder from that coal just got collected into the hopper. Basically, means you can just leave it on and not have to stand there, you can go and do something else, which is really quite useful. Another use for this mechanical power we'd be, we're talking about so much today, I really just quickly I just really like this mod I think it's awesome I think um, everything I think everything it stand for is correct no but I think it's cool the way it, it sort of just makes Minecraft better I really like it because it adds so many cool things which just boost Minecraft so much and the experience of it for me okay so in here can you hear that clicking I don't know if you can because I turned the sort of audio off because this is quite a loud mod um, I think I don't know. Um, you might be able to hear it. I don't know. I'll have to listen to the recording. Ah, button got stuck. There we go. <laughs> what is happening? Stop it. Yeah, these are turntables basically. They're connected by axle under here. Yeah, by water wheel power uh, under there. To the bottom of them. That's where the power has to be. And if I grab some clay and I place it on top. You see that? There's a clicking noise. There we go, look, it sort of sheds clay and you can make several different things. So that's like a planter, whatever. Oh, I need to be on. 
need to be off creative mode for this to work. That's, I'll take like one of those. And I'll take one of that's a vase, I think. Yeah, I'll just take one of those. Yeah, so I can show you what happens. We gonna go through these doors. Wow, that was the laggiest room because of all the clicking and the mechanical power. Yes, and I go into this place called the kiln. Everyone aware of what a kiln is, I hope. Oh, oh. I forgot I'm wrong. Creative, there we go. Wee. Yeah, there's the kiln. So you go in here, you pretty easy to make. Just basically a load of brick, but underneath it, this is the clever bit, is uh, I have to dig down because you can't really see because of the fire. You see that? That is a hibachi grill. It's basically turn on you can fire you can turn on and off. Uh, at will, which I've always thought would be a really good idea, and was happy that I found out this mod could do it, so I just removed that torch. See, it turns it out. Uh, but if I put it back, that's that. Okay. Get rid of this. Ah. Sorry, I'm pretty unprepared today. Let's just smack you down. There we go. Yeah. And basically, what you do with this wonderful piece of kill is if I place. No, not there but there yeah and if I place my two beautiful clay inventions oh I just stepped on the pressure pads the lag why are you lagging why are you loading okay so they're now in there what you need to do is stoke the fire so what what those are bellows I'll show you possibly something to do with making them later um, but yeah, I'll show you how to make them later. But basically, instead of putting mechanical power, which you can do, I'll just use hand cranks because I could not be bothered. Really easy way of doing things. Oh, I have to run around for ages though. You see, they're sort of going looking like gravel. I'll just keep running back and forth. I click the, must click the thing. Oh, there we go. See? So what that's given you is a planter, which is like a plant pot. Oh, I just broke it. Balls. Oh, I have one in my inventory. It's all good. And a vase, and I don't know what that does, because I really haven't figured out a use for half the stuff on this mod. So yeah, that is the first part of my video series on Better Than Wolves. So we've seen the wind power, water power, hemp grinding, the mills, growing hemp, moulding clay and firing clay. And next time... We shall see what the mod has in store for us.